It's right here from inkbutterfly.com. Thank you very much for joining me again today for another card making video. Uh, we are using Wild Ferns uh, stamp set and coordinating dies today uh, to create a variation of this card. So we're, we're using um, one of the subtles. This is Petal Pink and teaming it with um, a neutral but this is Pebbled Path. So this is one of the um, in colours that we have at the moment which I am using as my neutral today. Uh, I'm going to stick with the Pebble Path coming through the um, the other card sample as well that we're going to make um, together. But I uh, wanted to have you know, a nice textured background so I'm going to be using some of the embossing folders. Uh, so uh, I'll show you those in a second. And then we're using the, the Petal Pink accents there uh, with this lovely die set. So we're going to do a variation on the theme. Okay, so there's bits on here that I'm less keen on. Uh, so we'll, we'll make something else uh, using Pool Party. Okay, so that's the combination we're going to use and, and the Pebbled Path. Okay, um, so this is the Wild Fern stamp set. We've got sentiments, we've got some texture and of course those ferns as well. Um, and we have the coordinating dies which sort of um, uh, accent that those labels that we've got in there that coordinate with the sentiments in the set okay um, and then embossing folders so we have a whole heap of embossing folders that um, we could use with this project okay so first up then this is the one that I've used which is actually part of um, a set of three that we can get um, our 3D uh, embossing folders, basic embossing folders, okay, so we've got these lovely um, spots, domes, whatever, they're really big though, they're nice, okay, and we have this sort of starry kind of look, and we have this one with the um, sort of linen sort of texture, okay, alright, and then uh, we have painted texture, that's another one available online, Okay, which are featured at the weekend. Uh, and then in the um, catalogue we've got the new eyelet one and we've also got this um, textured tile, which is one that carried over. And we've got our big humongous one as well. Uh, this humongous um, circles. What's it called? It might be called circles. Dotted circles maybe. Anyhow, you'll find them all. Um, in the uh, in the uh, online store so do check those out really easy way to add lots of fun texture to a card make it look decadent without chucking uh, loads of extra stuff on it okay so here's pool party standard card base as you know top folding card and then uh, my pebble path layer is um, Ooh, five and a quarter by three and a half I think yeah and then I cut the pool party an eighth of an inch shorter and narrower so we'll get the pool party cardstock um, embossed so we'll put that in the um, embossing folder and with our stamping cut and emboss machine it's all on the uh, base platform which sandwich we need to use and there it is we just need the base platform and the dark grey number four plate um, with our um, cardstock and embossing folder in the middle so that's all we need we can just run that through okay so we'll just pop that through Ping out the end. There we are. Whoops, a daisy. Let's get that open. And there we have that wonderful texture there. Okay. Super. Put those die cutting bits back in the um, in the machine, ready to go for next time. And you know what? I think we could do with some ink on this. That might be one of the things that I. Um, feel like it's missing so let's get some scrap paper and bring out our pool party ink and a blending brush and add a little bit of that as well which will just emphasize some of that texture for us okay so it's gonna add a little bit of that 
around the edge which is going to help I think with the overall look of our card and not particularly going any um, any direction at all, at all. I'm just going to pop it here there and everywhere some lighter some darker just to add a bit more texture to that totally optional but I think that's going to help lift um, that texture off the uh, the background okay let's pop that brush away and we will we don't need to do anything extra with that so we'll get this adhered to our um, layer this one hasn't got um, whilst it's a 3d embossing folder it's got a very nice extra bit of texture there it's got quite a lot of um, flat areas so the tape runner works quite well on them the ones with a lot of texture you may need to um, switch out the tape runner to um, some uh, Tombow glue, the multi-purpose glue because the tape runner can um, kind of snag those raised bits of cardboard so you may find that the, the glue is a better option so we've got this layered up ready for our bits and pieces to go on top so I have done a bit of the die cutting ahead of time so um, on the sample here I just did the two rectangular um, elements there but I've decided to add the extra layer so all three of those dies that um, there is three because the other ones up here are ready for me to use for the um, sentiment so there are three of these um, rectangles in the set and I've used all three of them this time so I'm going to stump the sentiment in a second so we get a bit more of a layered um, look to this and it gets framed by the uh, the basic white so that's just pebble path and the basic white there okay uh, but what we do need to do is stamp our sentiment so I've just got a handy dandy scrap piece of um, the white there okay and I'm going to change it up and I'm actually going to go and add in the Knight of Navy okay so um, when I did the sample it felt I felt like there was something just not quite right with it um, so instead of tone on tone stamping I've actually um, grabbed out Knight of Navy to stamp that foliage okay I'll not leave that there we can get everything die cut at the same time Okay, so let's pop that over the top of there, just eyeball that and just make sure it's all nice and straight. So we've got that ready to go. So we'll put that on the cutting plate ready. Okay, so here, here's two of those leaves. Okay, and I've done two different ones this time. And like I say, instead of doing the tone on tone, um, I've gone with the Knight of Navy over the top just to give it an extra layer of... Um, something something it just uh, I felt like um the tone on tone with the, the softer colors just it just didn't have enough oomph to it so we're going to give it a bit more oomph with these so we'll do we're going to do two each of these um fronds okay and I've already done like I say we've done two of them but I'm not entirely sure how many I'm going to need so we're going to do two more and we may or may not use them all of them but we'll have them ready okay so again we can use the uh, coordinated dies here get those lined up just take your time positioning those you should find with these more detailed ones, if you sort of pick a spot towards the top and towards the bottom, the middle sort of takes care of itself, generally speaking. Just take those down. Oh, is that going to be too close? Not quite. Whew. I thought that was going to be a bit of a 
blunder there because uh, you can't um, if you overlap your dies you will break them that's the one thing that probably will break them so just lining up that stalk there tip So just got enough clearance on those. Whew, wow. Okay, so I've got room on the cutting plate to get those cut alongside that little label. So we'll get that done. In fact, I'm just going to trim that down just a snip. Just so that it fits in alongside everything else. And where's my top plate gone? There it is. And we'll run that through. Okay. All right, the one's already fallen out. So there it is. I'm going to pop this one out. So we've got four of those now. Okay, ready to go. Put those on my little magnet. And then we've got our sentiment. That has come out as well. Beautiful. I love die cutting. I just think it's um, just so brilliant that you can get all this detail from just sort of pressure being applied to some cardstock. So that's how that's going to look. Okay. So those of you who've watched uh, my videos before know that um, I like this sort of dry dry build. Um, I might have to have this a bit more central because I'm changing up the way I've done the um, embellishments as well. Um, I've actually done them in white and I've done two. Okay, uh, This is the other die. There's two of two different designs of this um, frilly um, decorative bit. Okay, But I've cut two the same but they're different to the one that I used on the sample. Okay, so we need to get those adhered onto the back of that and I'm going to bring in a silicone sheet to help me with that which is very very well coordinated with my basic grey, uh, not basic grey, pebble path and these are really um, kind of clever in that um, these frame our die um, really really nicely so popping some glue on there and then this will sit over the top and be completely hidden. Okay, and you can do it from the other way as well if you want to. So you can either place it over the top or um, uh, glue it from the back. Okay, and those will sort of um, interlock on the back if it's lined up exactly right uh, but I'm putting it on dimensionals anyway so it doesn't matter if they overlap a little bit so that's how those work you just stick them on the back to create this really delicate um, topper okay which we can then put onto our car base hence why I was like we might not be able to fit it um, off to the right here because there's all the extra bits and pieces that are going to go on top of it but we will put this up on dimensionals, so we'll get some of those popped on. Okay. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Do um, the thumbs ups help grow the channel? So if you are watching and you're liking what you are seeing, please do let YouTube know. A little bit of extra um, glue on there, which will give us one a little bit of wriggle room, and two um, will help us with um, making sure that that sticks to this textured surface. Okay, um, and I was very tempted to put that sort of towards the centre, but I'm going to drop it down a little bit. And I was umming and ahhing about whether to pop this onto a dimensional as well, just to give that a little bit more um, lift. So let's just try that out. I'm just giving you some options. Or these are 
sort of serving suggestions don't forget all these cards that I make and I share with you and what you decide to do with your products or you want to change it up or use slightly different things um, you know I just want to be able to share what I make with you guys and hopefully be inspired to make something yourselves okay so we'll pop that on nothing that looks nice popped up actually so that glue just gives you a little bit of wriggle room um, if you need it okay now you could totally stop there oh whoops a bit high up sorry okay totally stop there or you can add the extra bits and pieces okay and um i think it would look nice with these tucked in behind this um uh, white elements okay so i think that's what we're going to do okay and i'm just going to yeah i'll, I'll just I'll just use some dabs of the uh the multi-purpose i think So just a couple of blobs here and there, we'll probably do it. We don't need loads of glue. Um, because otherwise it will squidge out and make a mess. So just use it sparingly. Okay, and we'll tuck this one in around there. It just helps frame that up. Drop in another one to a quirky angle over here somewhere it's intertwined with that one but that's fine just gives it all that extra little bit of a uh, fun dimension okay again and pop this one in under here and this one as well okay There we are. How's that looking? Okay. Just a couple of anchor points there and that will be stuck beautifully. So like I say, you could skip that entirely and just not bother um, adding any of those. It, it looked clean and bright with the white. So, uh, you know, and then um, if any of these are sticking up a bit too far and you need to tack them down, just touches of glue here and there will help you um, stick those down. And the only thing we haven't got on here is any bling, right? So I'm thinking the iridescent pearls are going to are going to look nice on these, and I haven't put any on the um, original sample either, which is possibly why there's something missing that might be on there as well. But I think it was more the tone on tone with these. I don't think um, worked as well. Um, as I wanted it to. Okay, uh, and now I'm struggling to put those dots on. Okay, in between the uh, embossing there. Okay, uh, and again, you know, you know, sometimes less is more. Do we need them? Don't I? Uh, but you know what? A little bit of um, bling here and there isn't going to hurt, I wouldn't have thought. This one just doesn't want to play ball. Maybe that's a sign I shouldn't do it. I don't know. And I can go on top of the die cuts as well, so that's fine. Uh, and then we can do a couple more up here. I could do that one. So this one's got a bit more. Sort of a flutter design. Okay, so some bits and pieces that you can uh, take or leave. Okay, but I think the impact of the extra uh, colouring there with the Knight of Navy rather than a tone on tone just helps lift that up um, somewhat. Okay, but obviously, if you wanted something a little bit more muted, then uh, go with something like this. Okay, so 
like I say, it's all just sort of, you know, all options um, that um, you can you can choose to apply to the project that you make. Um, everything I've used is going to be um, listed and linked in the uh, description. So um, if you do fancy having a look at anything in a bit more detail, um, that will be there and it will take you straight to the online store. Okay. Um, and, and that's it for me today so I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, it, it's at least given you some ideas of what you might want to do uh, yourselves okay thanks uh, for stopping by hope you're staying safe take care and I will see you again soon bye bye